many of us have done a detox in order to eliminate internal toxins from our body, but how many of us do anything about the toxins in our own homes? With us today is Megan McWilliams. She's a radio show host with Green Divas, and she's here to talk to us about creating a greener home, and thank you for joining us here at Everett Good morning, today. Mia. So All right. glad to be here. Let's talk about keeping the home clean. Everybody thinks that you're using products that you buy in the store, but actually some of these may be harmful. Well, you know, first of all, what surprised me is that the FDA ranks indoor air pollution as among the top five environmental dangers. And, you know, in terms of toxins, I think we, we, we tend to forget. We, most households have three to 25 gallons of wow. toxic materials in their house, and most of them are cleaning products. Well, name some of the products that might be, might be considered harmful. Well, for instance, toilet, most toilet bowl cleaners have chlorinated, I have to look at my, <laughs> chlorinated phenols, right? I mean, I can't even pronounce these things. Um, and and, and they're, they toxic, they're toxic to the respiratory system and the nervous system. Wow. Eeks. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, if you're like me, I don't always grab my gloves. I just grab a, grab a, grab a sponge and go. So we don't necessarily think about it. But there are things like butyl cellusol which is in all-purpose cleaners, window cleaners, and a lot of the grease degreasers in our kitchen sprays. And, and why is that bad? Um, it damages bone marrow, kidneys, liver, wow. and the nervous system. So that's like kind of scary. And the FDA says that these are okay. You can actually buy them in the store. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, you know, we were talking <laughs> earlier, and you know, one of the things that I use a lot of the time is ketchup on my my copper pan. I never heard that one. Yeah. I love it. I'm going to have to try that. But there's a, there's other things like toothbrush for silver, toothpaste right. rather for silver, and and other things like that. What else can we do in the home uh, to make things a little bit safer? Well, there's a surprising amount of things you can do with the with things that you probably have in your kitchen, you know, pantry already. Okay. If you have white vinegar, if you have water, most of us have that. Lemon juice, some vegetable oil or mineral oil, baking soda. All right, let's go down the list. Let's go with the vinegar and water. Uh, a window, window cleaner, glass cleaner. And wow. Sometimes you can use a little bit of citrus uh, essential oil, and that helps also. So if I want to do that, no, well, we don't want to uh, say no more Windex, but we'll say go with the alternative, go with the greener. Well, it's just as effective, and it's a lot less money, and... Um, a lot less money. A lot less toxic. Yeah, vinegar is very, very inexpensive. Yeah, right. Okay, let's talk about the citrus. You said something about lemons, limes. What about that? Um, you can make furniture polish with lemon juice. Furniture polish. Furniture polish. You know, for your wood furniture with lemon juice and either mineral oil or vegetable oil. No kidding. Okay, so I gave you the ketchup for the copper pans and. You gave me that one. Um, now let's talk about also, we were, we were talking about some of the different things like when you're coming into your house, uh, taking off your shoes. Yeah, I think that we tend to forget that when we're out walking around in the world, there's a lot of dirt and things we're walking in that um, may seem innocuous on the bottom of your shoes, but you don't want to track them into your house. And if we also do that, we also uh, encourage people to have floor mats and things like that to, right. to keep out the toxins. How many toxins actually can get into the house? You know, I, I read something that, that, and I've read it a couple of times, approximately 17,000, and th now this is just about cleaning solutions. I really don't know about all the other stuff. But approximately 17,000 chemicals are used in most of the cleaning products. No kidding. That we use. And wait, here, this is the, this is the scary part. Only 30% of those chemicals are tested on for human health and effects on the environment. Wow. So it's not just necessarily about us, um, because all these things go down the drains and they go into the ecosystem, and they're finding that animals, um, a lot of these chemicals are considered endocrine inhibitors or endocrine disruptors, so they have an effect on the genetic systems which has an effect on the ecosystems, okay. which, you know, and believe me, if it's affecting the ecosystem, it's affecting us. Uh, let's talk about some of these plants that you got here. <laughs> okay. I, I was so surprised to find out that NASA um, did extensive studies in the 80s about house plants, little house common plants. house plants. Okay. making a mess on Well, we know they're healthy. Um, well, they look pretty. Yeah, and this one, of course, aloe, you can, you know, it's good for cuts and burns. But what, what they found out, and they were looking for ways to clean indoor air, you know, quality, um, naturally and they they were looking to to resolve three primary worst offending chemicals which okay. would be benzene formaldehyde and trichloroethylene i said it yeah <laughs> um which are the you know the top offenders there in most building product uh, building materials 
cleaning solutions and adhesives and you know varnishes. So anyway, this little guy here, this this little, and, and luckily, you know, almost all the ones that they mention are the hard to kill kind. <laughs> Okay. Low maintenance. But Simple. this little guy here? This little guy here cleans formaldehyde out of the air. Wow. Filters formaldehyde. And that's just a regular fern. This, this is a uh, spider plant. A spider plant, pardon me. Pretty hard to kill, makes babies. Wow. Um, and this little guy. And that cleans formaldehyde. Cleans out Amazing. formaldehyde. So, I, I, you know, I don't know the answer to how many you need to clean depending on what you have in your house. But, you know, when I, I was thinking about this topic, you know, in the winter time, we lock ourselves in and we seal everything, so we save energy. And now we're, we're a little pressed on time, so yep. we want to get to this guy here. Okay. Well, that's an aloe plant, which okay. you, know, you can literally pick a piece off and sure. use it for cuts and burns. So that's great. But it also um, filters out formaldehyde and benzene wow. out of the house. So. All right. So get some aloe plants and some spider plants in your house. So that's uh, probably some good ideas. Keep the shoes off and uh, use some more greener solutions for cleaning products. And on our website, I am going to do some of these recipes, some very simple recipes. And, and your website, please? TheGreenDivas.com. That's T-H-E, GreenDivas.com. So we can find some of those recipes right there. Well, we thank you so much for joining us. Megan McWilliams from the radio show Green Divas, and you can find all of those recipes on her website. So thanks so much for joining us. It was a great thank you. having you on the show.